Hey you guys, it's Britt. Tonight we're here with a quick little update on the Frankie child welfare case. This has just broken in the last 24 hours, so I wanted to pop this little update in here for you guys. So if you're interested, please keep watching. All right, you guys, so this little update will not take much of your time at all, but I felt like it was important because I actually talked about this a little while ago being a possibility. So this is the final verdict on the uh, child welfare case when it comes to Ruby Frankie, Kevin Frankie, and their children that were, um, you know, so horribly mistreated by Ruby and Kevin both, but as we know, there's also a child abuse case going on, and I've also been covering that. This is to do with the child welfare case, but I just, I feel for all of the Frankie kids, the adult ones as well, because not only going through this, but also having it play out so publicly is just really tough. And I'm glad that this decision has been made in order to protect at least part of what's playing out publicly. So it states that a judge has ordered the child welfare case regarding Ruby Frankie to be sealed, saying the public and media interest will be detrimental to the best interest of the minor parties involved. Judge Bazell issued her decision on Tuesday, nearly three weeks after a hearing was held on the matter inside a Provo courtroom. In her decision, she said a member of the press had gained unannounced access to a September 7th hearing in which sensitive information about Frankie's children was discussed. And based on my understanding, that is the information where Ruby was essentially, um, I, I believe it was where she was discussing her one child being, um, do I, should I repeat that? Should I not? It's basically where Ruby was turning on her own children based on my understanding of the facts. This continued and said, at a separate hearing on September 18th, the judge said media representatives took photographs of individuals involved in the case while in the hallway outside of the courtroom, which is prohibited. And based on my understanding, those photos were of Sherry Frankie when she was standing outside of the courtroom. We all saw those photos be uh, circulated all over social media. We now have footage of Sherry Frankie at the courthouse yesterday. Sherry was at the courthouse with her attorney. She is the 20 year old daughter of Ruby Frankie, who is currently in jail for abusing her 10 and 12 year old children. There are currently some concerns that Sherry may not be able to attend any future court sessions for custody as the children's representative did present a motion to the judge asking for the sessions to be closed. Kevin Frankie, Sherry's father, was also at the courthouse yesterday. His lawyer did stop outside and had this to share about the closed session. You know what? As to the adults, I don't think anybody cares. But as to the kids, I absolutely think these kids have been through a lot. And to have all this media exposure to them individually as uh, little kids who have been manipulated, uh, I, yeah, I think, I think it's better held privately. What does it mean to you that the eldest daughter was in attendance today? Um, I think she has a right to be there. I don't know what the court will ultimately determine about that, but I think she has a right to be a part of these proceedings. She's part of the family. Another reporter asked Kevin's attorney if it's possible that if the session becomes closed, if Sherry Frankie would still be allowed in, and this is what he had to say. That's up to the judge. But it is, it could happen. It, it could happen either way. That's just totally up to the judge. It goes on to say extended members of the Frankie family will be allowed to attend the hearings, but they will be prohibited from posting anything to social media or sharing what occurred with members of the media. Hey guys, I also wanted to make it really clear because I don't know if I made myself clear enough in this video, but obviously the judge is still going to allow Sherry Frankie, who is the Frankie's oldest sibling, in these hearings and that will also apply to the second oldest child who is chad so close family will be allowed in but it's just not going to be allowed to be playing out on social media like we will see with the ruby and jody case 
which I think is the perfect solution for this problem. That way the hearing will stay for those people who are directly related to these children and it won't be allowed to be this idea of public consumption. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, the judge's decision only pertains to the child welfare case regarding Frankie and not the criminal case involving her and her business partner, partner Jody Hildebrand, in which both are charged with six counts of felony child abuse. And it finishes out by saying, following a 911 call, after Frankie's 12-year-old uh, emaciated son escaped to a neighbor's Ivan's, Ivan's home with duct tape on his body, police found the boy and his malnourished 10 year old sister in their mother's house. Well, it was actually in Jody's house, but nevertheless, both children along with Frankie's other children have been placed in state uh, custody. Kevin Frankie, Ruby's ex-husband is looking to gain custody of the children. So I think that this is obviously the best decision for the kids. I would hope that everybody could agree on the kids be protected because at the end of the day, a lot of the details that are going to come out when it comes to this um, child welfare case, it, it's bad enough that the child abuse case is going to, you know, be playing out publicly. But I do think that this is in the best interest of the kids. I hope that they can, you know, live the rest of their childhood in privacy. I hope that they are surrounded by love, guidance, and just nothing but tranquility and positivity and all of the good things. Um, because it's just gut-wrenching and very, very sad to see all of this um, play out. I, I don't think that any of us ever imagined that it would turn out to be this bad. So aside from this little update, there's really nothing else going on right now with Frankie or Hildebrandt or anything along those lines. I am keeping a very close eye on things. We will see what happens next. Um, court was supposed to be after October 5th, so I'm not sure if they're, you know, after October 5th could also mean November 5th. I, I'm not sure, but I am keeping a close eye on it um, to, to kind of see what happens. But that is the update for today. So if you like the video, please leave a like and a comment. And if you'd like to see more from me in the future, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.